H J went out there down in Miami. Probably things in Miami. Did you see uh, probably things uh, H J? You slept on that grift, didn't you? You probably seen her. Nigga lying. Don't let this joke lie. I gotta go to the bathroom in a minute, man. I ate some Popeyes today. Them ghost pepper wings. They're tearing my ass up right now. I knew I shouldn't have tried them. Every time I eat Popeyes, man, I got shit like that. Crazy, man. This guy got, went and got the Cuban link and all that. <laughs> Wearing the rainbow colors. The price of freedom is accountability okay. and responsibility. The current system basically offload the responsibility of holding your cash, holding your wealth in somebody else's hands. The difference is with Bitcoin, it's all on you, baby. And I think this presents a tremendous opportunity in the field, and I've been saying this for a while. I believe that some company is going to come along and they're going to offer some sort of insurance package. That's what I want. I don't want to be responsible for my keys. I want to say, here's my keys, you're responsible, and if something happens, then guess what? I'm coming after you, baby. I, you're going to be responsible for my wealth. That's going to be a key, and I, I'll pay 5% for that. I, I don't mind paying 5% to, to just for the peace of mind, right? now. Y'all hear this grifting? Y'all hear the grifting? First, he got the goddamn, he got the damn chain on. Is that the rose gold or something like that? Why is that? Why does it look that color? Is that the? Is that the? Uh, is that the light man? He put his chain on. I've never seen this joker wear a chain. He he gotta go Miami. He gotta wear a chain. Got on Bitcoin. Did did you rent the chain? Did you buy the chain and take it back? Did you borrow the chain, H J? I bet you this joker borrowed this chain or he bought it and went and took it back. He's like, I just need to get, I just need the chain for, for a trip and sent it right. He went right back to Jacobs as soon as the trip was over. Hey man, they, uh, I got to sell this back. I don't even need my money back. <laughs> <laughs> Rent a blank. Chaining day. Unbelievable. Fresh white tee. The rainbow polo suit. He was really grifting hard. Those reggae colors. They Jamaican colors. Davy the maroon colors. <laughs> He got the Davy the Maroon colors on. See, y'all should have never let an A Doc hear about Davy the Maroon. Cause I'm about to, I'm about to call Tariq up right now. Why is it Tariq? At... <laughs> Wait till Tariq the she find out about Davy the Maroon. It's over for you, you tellers. It's over. They said Davy the Maroon was a crack shot, man. Sharpshooter. Sharpshooting coon. I bullshit you not. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Tacky's men were sent were, were running through the woods being chased by the maroons and their le legendary marksman Davy. The legendary marksman Davy. Davy was the illest shot in coon history. <laughs> they say he was legendary shot. While Tacky was running through the woods, Davy cut him off, hit him at hit him at full speed, running running at full. He was running at full speed. You know them Jamaicans, you know the island niggas can haul ass, right? Running full speed. Bam! Marksman. He was a marksman.